how gorgeous this coat is. Honestly, I scored like a mother. Yeah, I'm just gonna get stuck in and just show you how Karen does it. This is what I think of when I'm reaching for a coat, why I reach for that coat, and what I wear with it. So hopefully when you see what I do, you'll get some ideas with your own coats. Anyway, <laughs> let me just get going. Now this part of the video is in partnership with Farfetch. Now this time it is about, as I said, it's about coats. So this time around, if I was gonna do anything with them, I wanted to pick something that was about this particular subject. And you know how I talk about the holes in your wardrobe? Well, this was a hole in mine. I really was looking for a black leather trench coat. That's it. A black leather trench coat. I have, as you know, I have a plethora of different colored outerwear, but I wanted a simple black leather trench coat. And now if any of you do not know about Farfetch, they are a website that has a global list of brands. Like an, I see Farfetch as like an umbrella with all these different boutiques from around the world, all under one roof. But I like the fact that you're sort of getting the feel of searching around the world, looking for different things. Like I said, I wanted to fill a hole in my wardrobe. On Instagram, you lot probably saw in my stories, maybe, actually, I did it as a live story. I'm sorry, I'm digressing. Um, and I remember I was looking in the thrift shop for a black leather trench coat. And as usual, you know, it, I couldn't find one in my size. And if I did find one that I loved, it was not in my size. You know what I mean? It's always that thing. It's like, oh, hit or miss. So I tried one on and I almost got it, but it was way too big for me. And I just wasn't cut right, the leather was weird. Anyway, I digress. The point is I've been looking for a black leather trench coat. So I ended up going with this one from Farfetch and it is, it's exactly what I wanted to find, but can't, cannot find in my size. That is the key thing. It's not about, I can't find it, but I'm looking for A, does it tick off the box the style I want and B, is it in my size? It fits absolutely perfectly. I love like the slightly slim arms of it, but it's long enough, because you know I've got long arms, right? But look, see where it hits? I don't deal with this, because all my vintage trench coats, they're all up here, every single one of them, but this one, it actually hangs perfectly. This is like, for me, this is a big deal. For anyone who's got long arms, you know exactly what I'm saying. And I like that it's belted as well, which is, that is just, that's part of the drama of a trench coat. It's the option to, to belt it. So, oh God, look at that, look at that. See, as I'm doing that, putting my hands in my pockets, look at the shoulders, the way they're just squaring off. See how I just look, I'm doing that. And then look at, look at, look at that, right there. It is just, there's something about when you do this action, it's exactly what I was looking for. I even like the lapels on it. See the way they stand up? I haven't even buttoned it because I quite like the idea of just leaving it completely open and just wearing it like this. I wanted something that is an everyday leather trench coat. All of my leather trench coats or just trench coats in general, like suede or whatever, they're all in a color, right? A bright orange or a blue, which I love. And now you know me, I love those. Those are my, those are my special place coats. Um, but I just wanted the black. Just simple black and I wanted something that I could wear just for every sort of day. Jeans, polo neck and a pair of men's robes. That's a very sort of classic way that I would wear something like this. You can turn around and get like the fun, frilly, like cute little patterned coats and statement coats but when you've got something like this, this is your anchor piece. Now the brand of this coat is called Armour. When I get double breasted coats, I never do them up. But this was the perfect test to see does the coat do up? And it does. Also from Farfetch, I got this gold finish charm um, bracelet. It has like crosses on it and it's got a face right there. It's just, I've always loved charm bracelets. When I was a kid, I had one um, in silver. The person who gave it to me, um, she would give me another charm to add to it. And that's how I feel about charm bracelets. I think you, it's such a good opportunity to personalize them. So this one is from Farfetch as well. And the brand is Maria Black. But I like that they've started you off with some charms already. Maybe I'll look for vintage pieces. Actually, that's what I'll do. When I'm out and about, I'll look for some really interesting charms. I can just add them one at a time because I like the sentimental value and the meaning behind them in that you can just keep adding charms to them and really personalize them so that no two are ever the same. So I'll leave the code for you on the screen. It is FFKB10 um, and the code is valid till Monday. So. Right, so um, I think that is it, but this, oh, yeah, 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 this limping 
trench coat. So it's a good thing I did get the other one because I would have ended up getting rid of it, honestly, because the, it's just the fit, it's the way it just, the Wakanda, it's the way it just corners here. You know how I talk about the corners? I love when the trench coat just, it just fits you just right. If you, anyone out there has a coat that is you know, a black leather trench coat, this is one way that I would style it, but I feel like this is almost like um, a black wool coat. It's a it's an anchor in your wardrobe. This is a basic piece that you will have and you'll just keep it for life because it's above the trend. As long as you've got the right cut and it fits you just right, that that's your jumping point. Make it something that is a piece that you plan to just be wearing for a very long time to come because you've bought something that is uh, an anchor. I call them anchor pieces. Other people call them capsule wardrobe pieces. Coats in general can be if you pick the right cut and if you pick something that is beyond the trend. I want to pick pieces that were all kind of very different to each other. Like obviously the first is a black leather trench coat. Then I went with a paisley print, so something that's a bit of a statement. I've got the camel coat. It's making an appearance, it's the season. <laughs> and then I've got this one from Topshop, which is a vinyl trench coat. And then I threw in this other piece here, which is like a very sort of uh, fuzzy, teddy-like coat. It's a half coat though. And then also I'll show you this uh, leopard print. And then lastly, this piece right here, I'll show you how I'll style a long teddy coat. My statement uh, paisley print coat, which is right here. Now I switched to this dress now. Yes, this is the dress that Rihanna said to me to get rid of in the purge video. And I, this is the one I just like, when she left, like the door shut, I just went back to the parlor and went. <coughs> but we're not talking about dresses. I decided to pair it, um, the Paisley Prince Statement Coat. Now, some of you may have statement coats in your wardrobe. So for me, I actually like to play that up. I either do the opposite, which is to wear something plain under it. Like if you look at the lining, you know how I tell you that um, clothing speaks to you? This is a good example of that. I could have worn something like, you see the lining? This lining is telling you what you could have worn with this coat. You could easily have worn like a burgundy satin high necked dress, slip dress, long underneath this, right? And it would have been absolutely perfect with it because that, if you wore like something that was this color, which is the lining of this, I love that clothes can talk to you by the way, because this is telling you what to wear this with just by the lining alone, which is a nice trick to look at. When you look at the lining of coats, just check, because sometimes they complement, they pick a color that works with the outerwear part of the coat. I've actually worn this combination before out, but I'm gonna do, it's such a, sorry, it's just such a good way to, to like mix this. I just thought I should show it to you again. So this is what I call my carpet coat, but watch this. Now, this is why I liked wearing this together. Now just bear with me for a moment. Oh God, I love, oh, I love this. Look at that. Um, you see what I'm saying? Look, look at the colors together. It's just, it's just so good. And it works because this, like I said, this is a slightly different color to this. If it was really similar, which it, at first glance, it seems like it is, but actually it's not. So that's why I paired this with this. And this is a classic, this is a classic Karen look of wearing mixing prints together. This is something that is very boho, kind of rock and roll me. I like that the sharpness of the corners of the jacket sleeves are relatively slim cut. It's very flattering uh, features to it. I've had this coat for about two to three years now, and it's a piece as well that's just not going anywhere. So I like the idea of pairing these two together. Now I'm gonna just bring this down a bit. So you can see, right? This is a close up. So you can see how these are pairing together. But because, like I said, because this is a slightly different tone compared to the dress, they actually work really well together. And so I'm gonna go back so you can see. Because I've got all this pattern here, I went with a solid boot in black. Just add like, you know, tights, wool tights under this. I just love how this looks. I need to shoot this. This, this, this is an app, tell me, Tell me, comment 
below which outfit that I'm pulling together for this video, which one do I need to shoot? If you're looking for statement coats, something that, you know, is like this patterned. Do you remember the woman in the episode five of uh, what people are wearing in New York when she had that statement Dries Van Noten coat? Absolutely stunning. Now she paired it with, um, I remember, she went with a statement bag instead. So that was the way she did the mixing of the prints, but it worked. They were complementing each other, even though they're two individual statement pieces. The same with this. The tones are slightly different. They're in the same color family. So when you're going out, look for pieces. Like if you've got a statement coat that you're thinking about, think about your wardrobe. Think about maybe in the shop, that the same shop where the coat is. Let the lining speak to you and tell you what it can go with, because it's already telling you the kind of colors that you need to start looking for. Oh, I love this together. And um, what did I want to say to you? Oh, belt. I knew there was something else. The belt. Where's the belt? I was gonna say, you know when you put something down, you're like, where the hell did I put it? Hold on, let me just come up a little bit. Hold on, right there. But as you know, I've got the black boots on. God, this looks so, oh, this really looks good together. You see what, oh, this looks, oh, this looks really good. So look, what I'm trying to say is, look, you see what I'm doing? I picked the black skinny belt because of the boots. So I'm just tying everything together. You don't have to do this, but God, no, you have to, you have to, I'm taking that back. No, you do have to do this. It just looks like, look, look, and then you just add. There you go. Just added. Yeah, I need to shoot this. As soon as I put this, oh, look at that. I look like a giant leaf. Look at this. Look, look. So I take photos. Look at that. That. That looks so good. I'm picking up. <laughs> but it just does, right? It does. It's a solid colored boot. That's why I picked the simple black belt. And then on my shoulder, I'd probably tell me what I would do like class is in session if this is what I'm wearing right what bag would I go with come on what bag would I go with somebody what bag would I go with tell me what bag would I go with um, you know what ah, I just thought of an idea I'm going to put on Instagram in my stories what bag I would pair with this so leave a comment below, have a think, what bag would Karen wear with this look? Like what type of bag, what color bag, what would she wear with this? Based on what I've taught you, <laughs> I really feel like a teacher, uh, what I've taught you over the past couple, what, couple of years or so on you know mixing prints, how to mix colors as well. By the way, those two videos are gonna be linked up below. How to mix colors, how to mix prints, down below. But based on that, let me know what you think I would pick. So have a look on my Instagram stories. It will go up, if not the day of this video, then probably over that weekend, I will tell you what bag that I would wear with this. But I'm just showing you how Karen does it. It's my style, it's my aesthetic. It may not be yours, and if it's not yours, have a look at the coat and let me know if it's talking to you with this. Okay, so the next piece I am moving on to, the next coat I'm moving on to is the camel. Now, if you're new to my channel, the reason why you see a camel in my, I show you a camel every time I say camel, is because you OG subscribers know the struggle that I went through to find this coat. And I will have the video below, if you've not seen it, on how difficult it was for me to find this bloody thing. To me, this is what I call an anchor. It's not going anywhere. There is almost nothing that you can't wear this with. Um, I could have gone with a, a tonal look and just worn different shades like brown. See how beautiful those colors, that caramel, it warms up this camel coat. There are thousands of ways to me you can wear something like a, a camel coat. There's just so many. But so this is just one way. So it's basically, hold on, let me just go down a bit because you're probably gonna think, what, I can't see anything, Karen. I see nothing. Chunky boots, these are the, the Prada boots and I got it several sizes up, literally sort of grazing my ankles. I like the idea of the patent leather because it's that shiny gloss which contrasts, even though it's black, but it still contrasts with the black pleats of the skirt because you're mixing two textures together. I wanted that really chunky look and I like that there's no um, lacing up 
here it's just smooth boots that's all you're seeing i think it looks very contemporary for a chunky boot look how gorgeous this coat is honestly i scored like a mother when i found this coat didn't i it's just absolutely amazing it's just so hold on wait it would come up a bit this is just so good oh god it's just so good um and then i'll probably put it with my loewe puzzle and I did this because it's still in the same color family, right? Of the of the camel coat. Sort of very simple, it's very clean. Yeah. Anyway, so this is just another example, but I could easily with a pair of jeans, because I also like the look of how uh, denim looks. See how this is? I don't even need to put this on for you. Look how this look how gorgeous this looks together, right? It's denim. This is gorgeous. No, I'm not going to change. So this is me. Um, I quickly put the jeans on. See, this is the magic of a camel coat. It just looks so good with everything. This instantly, the, because the denim is casual, right? By its very kind of nature. Once you put on a sleek camel coat like that, it instantly makes this look more, more chic, doesn't it? And then for my feet, literally I put one on either foot because I think, honestly, depending on where you're going and what your mood is, I could have worked with either, but it's both black, but I went with, <laughs> I went with the Prada boots on one side, kind of uh, heeled ankle boot. I do actually quite like the, um, the chunkier boot. So I'm just gonna show you how they both look. See what I mean? So there, and you've just got something where it feels very, very casual, but the coat helps to keep it feeling a little bit more um, sophisticated, if that makes any sense. And then go with the tan bag. And you can take elements of what I'm wearing. You don't have to actually get exactly everything I've got um, in terms of budget. You can just take a chunky boot because you can get them at all different price points. Same with the bag, but it's the principle. Okay, so changed again. Uh, this time I'm in all black. I'm wearing the... Um, I believe this is the Everlane cashmere sweater with the Ghani wide leg jeans. So this is the outfit that I would wear with my vinyl trench coat. Now vinyl is one of those fabrics that, you know, it seems initially a bit scary, right? It's like, oh God, I'm not sure if I could wear this, but it's one of those materials that you're seeing more and more uh, every single season they're coming out with vinyls. So I love the olive color of this one and I already wore this on my Instagram and I'll show you a picture on the screen so you can see how I had it on, which was basically dark as well. And the reason being is because this is quite a light color, isn't it? This color green. So because of that, as soon as you put something darker, this instantly jumps up. It's a pair of trousers, but I wouldn't. See, I would never do that. This sort of wishy-washy, I call it, color. This does not help this at all. This, look at that. This pops instantly. But even though it's black, it's different shades. And I love the drama of the wide leg of these trousers, of these jeans, teamed with the skinniness of this polo neck. Because this is what I call a statement coat. So it's like, how do I style something like this? Go with something very, very simple, darker contrast so if it's a lighter colored trench then go darker and I love the idea of adding this just tiger print bag with it because I like the brown and the greens I think they really complement each other and it's just a way of just adding a little bit of something extra with the look so yeah so that is I love this so that is the whole look together um, and on my feet i've just got a pair of low heeled cowboy boots you've seen these boots before there's contrasting stitch in this trench coat which to me helps to bring out the contrast stitch in the the gay jeans obviously you do not have to go with a bag like this you could have just gone with the black bag because of this right here but i just thought what the hell not i kind of like it it's a little bit different i kind of like it with the hair you know, so I, I think about things like that. You should as well. Think about the accessory. What else does it go with? Does it go with your skin tone? Does it go with your hair? Your outfit has a cohesiveness to it. Black vinyl trench, and I'll show it to you. It's right here. It's quite old. I've got it from Marks and Spencer's. It was a collaboration that Alexa Chung did with them. 
this is the black trench. But obviously, if you're someone who likes to wear, you know, like all black, then go for it. This is, you know, this is something that you're thinking, yeah, Karen, but no, no, I would wear something like this. Then go for it, because that's the sort of person that you are, and that's the sort of look that you're after. I'll just bring this down a bit. Um, but if I did it, I would then go with a punch of color with the bag, right? So that way, you know, the bag is really standing out against the, all the different textures of black. So bear that in mind because this does still work together because there's so many different textures. You've got the denim, you've got the cashmere wool, and then you've got like the shine, the high gloss reflectiveness of the trench. And then I just bummed on the bag. And this could be any color light bag that you like. It could have been the black pleated skirt that I had on earlier. You know, all those ideas work together. Same thing here with the trench coat, the one that I had earlier on, the leather trench. It's just the contrast, isn't it, of all those different uh, textures going together. You can just throw them on and it works because you've got items that individually fit you really, really well. See, even that, yeah, even that would work. You know, the snakeskin bag. But you see what I mean? I'm just trying to like come up with like just simple ways to style classic sort of coats that you may or may not have in your wardrobe and just to spark off some really easy ideas all right so i'll show you the next coat okay outfit change this is something that i would wear actually i've already worn this look but i wanted to show it to you on youtube but this is why i wore what i'm wearing it is because of this fantastic um kind of like chubby teddy um jacket coat I would call it a coat more than I would a jacket. It's almost like a short coat. In fact, it is. It's a short coat, Karen. These are on loan for me for a project, like a shorter style of jacket or a coat. And this, to me, falls into that category. Um, and it's completely different to the other items I showed you. Such a beautiful chocolate color. And because of that, and these are the kind of things you can find at all different price points, I thought I would show it to you because it's a style that keeps coming back every single season, right? So for me, I would wear it with this high neck leopard blouse and a pair of black trousers. Now I picked this because I like the same color family. That's what's happening. Let them contrast. Wear something thinner with something thicker. But I think it's nice to just make jeans, just to wear trousers in the place of a jean because usually they tend to be more comfortable, uh, at least these are. And um, these are just the right height. See, they're just cut right there, so they're a little bit cropped. So it sits perfectly on top of my DMs because um, it has the same heftiness, the chunk, which is what I want, because it gives this whole look a very kind of like tomboy vibe. I thought I'd come over to the corner so you could see. The main thing to remember is just the idea of wearing something that's thinner with your teddy coat because this is extremely warm and it's very thick so you don't want to wear something that's like chunky don't put a chunk in it with this because it's just going to be i would think too much too warm it's just too much material on you but if this is sufficiently warm enough i think as long as you're wearing maybe um a sort of thermal underneath here as the temperature drops then you can get away with wearing a uh, you know a thin blouse like this and it's just such a pretty contrast against the coat but that's this whole look together, so you can see. I love this. So this is how I would style a teddy coat. So bear this in mind. Something thinner underneath. Again, let the lining speak to you if you're not sure what color to wear with it. But being that this is relatively, you can see there's a contrast between something that's lighter against something that's darker. So that's really the principle that I try and um, exercise with everything coat-wise when I'm getting dressed. Okay, so I'm moving on to the last coat, which is going to be this teddy coat. I was actually going to show you this, but I've had this coat for about seven years, maybe slightly longer. It's an old coat from H&M, and even though I love it, the sleeves, even back then, were always a bit tight on me. And now, when I put it on, I, I think my arms go this far. If the sleeves feel like too narrow on you, right? Because you've got to do that driving test where you can just have your arms straight out, pretend you're driving a, a car. So unfortunately, I can't show you that. So I'm going to move straight onto this coat, which you've seen before um, on a video. I think it was last week I had this in the background. I've had this teddy coat for a couple of, actually no, yeah, a couple of years now. Um, it is an old H&M coat. 
and it's a teddy coat. The Max Mara is actually my favourite. This is not Max Mara, it's inspired by Max Mara, um, and I would love to have that coat. It's on my dream wish list, bucket list to have, because I honestly think that the teddy coat is a legit category in your in your closet, um, especially when it's long like this. Good old trusted Ganny boots. Talked about these ad nauseum on my channel, including last Friday. But they they do right, and they're gonna look good with this coat. So it's like it's the perfect combination in terms of like caramel toffee brown colours, like this down the road, <laughs> or maybe like this down the road, or just have it here in in front probably just wear a pair of like a denim jean with it that would work as well if you are going to get a teddy coat um definitely make a point to try them on i wanted to pick coats for this video that sort of touched on the typical coats that we have or we that are existing so that's why i went with this coat and went with this one right here the kind of half chubby kind of coat and then i went with the vinyls so i could show you how those look on and then obviously Oh, the camel, you know how much I love the camel coat, got to put that in, and then something like this, which is a statement coat, different to the vinyl statement as well, but this one's more about a print, and then last but not least, which I first showed you, which is the black leather trench coat, classic, about as classic as it gets, but God, the leather, it feels so nice. That is it, that is my lot, I hoped that it helped having this video about how to style coats. I tried to pick, like I said, uh, categories of coats that we're all sort of familiar with to give this video a thumbs up so I know that you're getting some kind of help on how you're styling your own coats in your wardrobe do not forget the Farfetch discount as well I'll put it on the screen for you again it is FFKB10 I believe the code runs until this Monday you know what I'm starving it is 3 30 no the clocks went back I haven't put my watch back. It is actually 2.30 in the afternoon and I haven't had lunch and my stomach is grumbling. So I know you don't give a crap, but sorry, I just had to say that. Uh, you can follow me obviously on Instagram, Karen Richard, between this Friday and next Friday's video. And as I always say, have a fantastic weekend. That is it. I'll see you all next week. <laughs> Bye.